Scene 7, the Winnetraub residence. Widow Winnetraub is bathed in an ominous light from the window. A dark shape crosses the path in front of her. She is terrified. Please, I've nothing to offer you, and you've nothing to gain by taking my head. The headless horseman steps into the light of a table lamp, removing his bloodied sword from its sheath. He wipes the fresh blood on her dress. With no mouth to speak, what can I possibly offer you that will spare me and the two girls entrusted to my care this evening? The horseman swings his sword through the lamps and glass vases on a table nearby. He grabs a piece of parchment and traces his gloved finger across the page, burning into the paper with every move. He holds it up and it says a single word. Katrina. No, you mustn't. Take me. You must take me and not her. The horseman grabs another piece of parchment and burns another word. Widow Winnetraub looks down at two letters burned into the parchment. Okay. Katrina and Hilda enter the room in a hurry. What's going on here? Mom, watch out! Don't look, child. No! Widow Winnetraub's head is cleaved off and disappears into the darkness. The horseman turns to Katrina. Hilda jumps in front of her, standing in the way of his blade. You'll have to go through me first. The headless horseman stabs his sword into a piece of paper on the ground. He holds up the OK paper to the light. The sword pulls back yet again and swings at Hilda. The front door is kicked in. <laughs> Ichabod emerges with Hattie and Cornwall in tow. I hope we aren't late to the party. Ichabod fires the pistol at the horseman, missing by six feet to the right. Give me that. Hattie grabs the pistol from Ichabod's hand and fires around, hitting the horseman in the small of the back. The headless horseman recoils. A nightmarish shriek blasts through the room. The horseman smashes through the kitchen window and runs off into the night. There's a piece of paper over here that has Katrina's name on it. Ichabod grabs the sides of Katrina's shaking face. She's in shock. Katrina, my, my dear friend, look at me. You were right. You were right about me all, all along. I learned tonight what an asshole I've been to everyone, and I, 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 I wish I could t take all that back, but I cannot. Hilda runs over to her deceased mother, quietly sobbing in the background. <laughs> he killed Widow Winnetrub, just like it was nothing. Katrina, look at me! The horseman has singled you out, and if I were to guess, I would say that you and Constable Van Ripper were related in some way. Am I right? He's my uncle. Wait, what do you mean, we're related? Did something happen to him? Katrina looks over at Cornwall, who silently shakes his head before turning his eyes to the ground. Why would he want to kill all the people dearest to me? That's horrible. I don't... I didn't do anything to deserve this. I need you to concentrate. Did anyone he killed give you something? Yes, but it's nothing. Pastor Von Von Vonington gave me a silly little trinket for luck, but then he died. Katrina, what was it? What was this trinket? Katrina pulls a small pearl shirt button from her pocket. It's just a button. That's a button from a lady's blouse. Not from this century, I can tell you that. <laughs> Quite right, Hattie. Good deduction. But why would he be after this? Well, I'm afraid we might never know the answer to that question. But I fear if we don't get it back to him, none of us are going to live long enough to try and find out. Cornwall peeks out of the curtains into the intensely dark night outside. Ichabod, where do you think he'll go next? Everyone I care about that is left in this world is here in the room with me right now. Except for one. Brom. 